All right, guys, short and sweet. The much highly anticipated uh, no-till, strip-till, conventional-till corn results. Now, the only conventional till that I had is this 120 that the landlord had tilled, and then he had tractor breakdowns, and then he's got a, a bad back, and, and so he just... It was just too much for him this spring, but he'll be back out here next spring putting his own crop in and, and going and find himself. But uh, so for my one year, this was tilled corn. On, on the good ground between all three, there's no real yield comparison. There's just a huge input cost comparison. And, and that just flat out makes the no-till a winner by a large margin. Uh, doing the math, the you know, I mean, it's if you bring math back to yield, bring cost back to yield on $3 cash price corn, you'd be well over 20 bushels better than the conventional till corn. Um, and that's not even taking into long-term um, goals and improvements that come along with soil health and new and uh, the no-till and stuff. But the, the strip till, the strip till is hard to beat for the fact of getting water into the soil and away from that seedling, keeping that seedling dry, high and dry. And, and strip till is very tough to beat for just them perfect square fields that just run up to a ditch. They drop for the ditch and then they're off again. No till, it kind of has that trail down in conventional till. You can just see right out there how the corn around that little ditch, that corn goes forever where it just dive, 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 ditch, climb, 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 finally climbs out of it. And uh, so that's that's the other big winner this year is on the no-till and strip-till. Um, it is that um, we did not have that much issue. We fixed that issue uh, with the no-till and strip-till and the covers and all that soil health practices going on. So yeah, short, sweet, I'll end it here. Um, and uh, yeah, no-till's the, the big money winner this year with a strip-till nipping on its heels for possibly uh, better production on, on, on more adverse years possibly. Um, but we're, we're fixing issues in both and making them both come along better with our nutrient management program. And that's, that's the key there. Um, but yeah, yep. There's still nothing here to ever make me sway to think of going back to be silly enough to do tillage on my ground. And so guys, thanks for watching. Now I got to get combining.